I'm Michael Mann. I'm a professor at the University of Pennsylvania. Uh, I teach in the Department of Earth and Environmental Science. And uh, I've written about some of the challenges associated with the climate crisis. My last book, The New Climate War, was about the tactics that we now encounter among polluters um, who don't want to see us transition away from fossil fuels towards renewable energy. And one of those tactics is what I call deflection. Um, there are lots of D words uh, that characterize uh, the various tactics. Um, delay, uh, division, uh, doom mongering, and deflection. Uh, a great example of deflection uh, is what the beverage industry did decades ago when there was the threat of uh, various states passing bottle bills. Now this would hurt their bottom line because uh, the, the beverage industry uh, would be forced to process those returned bottles and cans and it would eat into their profits. And so what they did was to hatch a publicity campaign working with uh, executives in Madison Avenue uh, to develop a campaign to deflect attention away from the need for this systemic solution, uh, bottle bills, and put it all on individuals. Um, that all that's necessary is for individuals to pick up their bottles and cans. And there was an advertisement, uh, a commercial, that I watched when I was a young child. It appeared in the early 1970s. It's sometimes called the Crying Indian uh, commercial. Um, and it was a, a tearful uh, Native American uh, played, as it turns out, by an Italian-American, uh, uh, but that was the least of the subterfuge that um, was present in this particular commercial. And he's rowing down a river, and there are bottles and cans strewn on the side of the river. He gets out of his canoe, uh, and um, a car drives by and, and throws a paper bag to the side of the road, and it hits him at his feet, and the bottles and cans um, fall out, and they, you know, uh, he uh, looks at the camera, uh, tearful, a single tear running down his eye, uh, and the tagline was, uh, people cause pollution, people can fix it. And the whole point here was to make this about individuals uh, cleaning up their bottles and cans, rather than states and potentially uh, the United States itself passing bottle bills. A systemic solution that would really solve this problem but would hurt corporate profits. It's an important story uh, because it has lessons for us today. We're seeing the same thing today with the fossil fuel industry. Uh, they uh, are engaged in a deflection campaign to make it sound like the solution to the climate crisis is individuals changing their own personal behavior. Um, we just have to decrease our you know, own carbon footprint because they want us so focused on our carbon footprint that we fail to take note of theirs. 70% of the car uh, carbon emissions come from just 100 polluters. And so this is a campaign that's underway today to convince us that we don't need policies. We don't need carbon pricing or uh, other incentives um, to move us away from fossil fuels. And we need to be aware of that. We need to recognize that, yes, it's important we all do what we can to minimize our own environmental impact and our own carbon footprint. Many of the things that we do to do that save us money and they make us healthier um, and they set a good example for other people. We should do all those things, but we shouldn't let polluters convince us that that's all that needs to be done because we also need policies, uh, incentives that will shift us away from fossil fuels collectively to renewable energy and, and address the climate crisis at its roots.